Alright, what's going on guys? I'm, we're doing Pop Goes the Weasel. I'm um, here with my friends again. So basically, um, the first part was here. It's just a skull. All I have to do is jump, sell your tomahawk, and grab it. And you have to kind of get it right at the lamppost. Um, I'm going to show you what the other parts are in just a second. So, uh, alright guys, I did the instruction. Um, basically, you're going to be finding the other parts and stuff like that uh, to the uh, blue skulls. Alright guys, I'm back. This is the uh, second skull. It's down towards the docks. Um, all I should do is go over here, and I guess uh, Jack Connor's gonna do this for me. So I should just throw Tomahawk towards that direction over there. Let's hold it for a little while. When you throw it, um, something may or may not come back. I'm pretty sure he didn't get it. Yeah, it takes a couple tries. Um, it will just go towards the Elder Retriever, and just uh, oh, I got it <laughs> somehow. And as you can see, a blue skull kind of went with it, and a little chain sign. A chain sound kind of happened. Um, so that's a second blue skull. There's other ones across the map. I'll show you guys the other one in just a second. Yeah. I, I hear you using the death machine. No. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna start. Alright, right, guys, so I'm at the uh, third skull. Um, it is located basically at the first part where you spawn. It's gonna open the door. Uh, it says CD Street. It is in this uh, jail cell here. Apparently, it's on the toilet. Uh, confirming to Mr. Commander. What you have to do is uh, throw your tomahawk in there, and uh, I, don't, I think I don't think I can grab it. Okay, I don't even think I grabbed it. Um, sorry, we're kind of fighting off zombies at the same time. We're in the middle of the round here. Um, I'm just gonna try to get it. I guess oh, I, I'm just gonna try to help us at least. Reloading, reloading, reloading. So sorry, I'd rather do this when we're actually uh, not fighting zombies, but whatever. You just gotta keep throwing your tomahawk until you get it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can hold as many as you want, correct, uh, Chainsaw? Uh, yeah, they, they, they're there. Okay, so you gotta keep going until you grab it, and, uh... Sure got it. Oh, I, yeah, it keeps going blue for me, so maybe I, maybe we did get it, who knows. Um... Okay. Yeah, alright, the next one's on the roof. Alright, so that was the third one, uh, you can't really tell if you grab it or not. Um, it's supposed to be on the toilet, yeah, it's not there anymore. Oh, you'll see? I don't know, dude. I guess we got it, but if you d don't know if you got it or not, just keep trying a couple times. It's right on the toilet, and you should have it. Um, so that's the third one. We're going to the fourth one, which is on the roof. We'll be there in a couple seconds. All right, guys, we're at the uh, the fourth one, I believe, and this one's on the top of the roof. Um, so once again, get your tomahawk ready. Um, TNT is kind of directing me. I guess it's over here somewhere. I guess it's over there. Oh, got it. No. I always get it, I don't even know where it is. So there's one over here, it's gotta go to the corner, throw it towards that direction, and you should get it. By the way guys, um I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the beginning but this is for the uh blunder guy that's in the warden's office. I already got one, I think you only get one per game, uh for each person, it's like a wonder weapon. But you can get a second one and it's actually located in the warden's office. So uh we're going there right now and I'll be there in a couple seconds. Hey, someone gonna shoot. Alright, two on guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm at the warden's office. I think this is the uh, I believe the last one. Um, just go to this window, keep throwing it up there, uh, attempt to go grab it, and he did. It's okay at that post over there. Um, and here is a blunder guy. Uh, we have completed, it's like a beginning of the Easter egg. Um, as you can see, he has one as well. It's like the beginning of the Easter egg. Um, I might be doing the completion of it if I can actually get far enough in the game and people cooperate. Um, so I just got to get the uh, other blunder guy. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, also, give up my other videos. I'll be doing some how to's on Mama Dead and some other stuff on here. Really cool stuff. So, uh, see you guys in my other videos. Alright, guys. Uh, so, basically, this is how to get the. Uh, actually, it's a continuing for the Easter egg. But this is also how to get the golden spork. So, all you have to do is knock the poster down. Uh, right here next to the cell. Knock it down with two tomahawks. Uh, you spawn in the afterlife. You're going to go inside there. Actually, we do a perspective from my view. Um, with this. Jack Connor's already doing it. Like that when you've done it right. Not on the roof, roof, but going to towards the dog. 
Okay, here we go. It's in here. It's this bathtub here. Look, look at this bathtub right here. Look, see? Look, see there's the spoon. It's just moving the blood. Get out, you know? Yeah, we have a crawler. If it's not dead. Okay, I already shook the blood. I'll oh. deal with you in a minute. You hold X over the bathtub and then you can see the, the golden spork start swirling in the blood like that, see? And then... Oh, wait. We've got to go to these showers. And they have to get... Well, yeah, we need a pack of punch stats to get though, and I don't have that yet, so... But he does. AJ does. No, oh, AJ, yeah, AJ pack punch. Yeah. Right, Come over well, here. You, have to, you just yeah, you have to go to the showers and just kill until you hear the laugh like you normally do, and then you go back up to the tub and grab the spoon. Zombies. Kill zombies. Yeah. yeah. In the shower. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, after you've done what I showed you, um, come here. I want to show you this really quickly. Come like towards the roof. You're gonna go next to this bathtub of blood. Hold X and to make sure you're doing this right. Actually, I already did it. But you will see a spoon kind of um in there, kind of twirling around, mixing it up. So that's like a, con a confirmation that you've uh, done the other stuff correctly. So when you got the acid guy, make sure you have to have it upgraded. You have to have the acid guy, and you have to have it upgraded. Go down to the showers, and basically all you have to do is start killing a crap load of zombies. Um, once you kill enough zombies, you'll hear another laugh, and that means that's the next step. Um, and you're getting closer and closer. Oh yeah, and then uh, you yeah. So basically, what Jack Connor said: kill all the zombies, go back up, grab the spork, and after you hear the laugh, and you should be set. Um, so let's start the round. Who has a zombie? And you have to kill him with only the blunder get, the acid get. All right, so yep. Uh, apparently, you only have to kill with this weapon. So, um. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna be down here a while. Plus, this is a really bad spot to be in. Um, but I apparently I have to do this. Plus, I asked guy can kill you, so please be careful. My friend here has it too, but he doesn't have it upgraded, so it doesn't really count. Um, I'm blowing things up like freaking crazy though. Insta kill. Grab that. And skill kill. Oh, dude, that's gonna help so well. Yeah, it is. So if you can, strategy for me. I just think about going in circles and just surviving. Um, and skill. Uh, double points. I mean, over here. Let's be inside this cage so he can get him. And we can only get the ones that are coming in. Crap, it's freaking annoying with those things. Cause they they go off so late. And I don't know when they're going to. Not you in here. You just keep running a train. We'll just be in here. Okay. We only get the ones that are just coming towards us. Well, I'm over here. I don't see any zombies coming towards me. Don't get it. Don't get it. Oh, there's a nuke. Don't get it. You I know. Oh crap, crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What's up, zombies? I still haven't heard a laugh yet. <laughs> you have to wait. It takes a while. It takes a whole round, maybe. Are you serious? An entire round? Jesus. No, not a whole round. But maybe All I try to do is kill enough zombies. <laughs> just say that. I don't want to kill myself. I'm kind of getting a, a, some certain situations where I'm almost dying. We can do with more hits like that one. Calm your liver and I'll be running around with the ass again. Ah. Freaking zombie, come here. I'm running low on ammo too, hopefully I freaking can kill a couple of these zombies before I run out of ammo. Well that took down a few. I got six shots left. This better work right here. I, this whole group is on oh Jesus. I'm out of ammo. Alright, Let's get a uh insta kill up in here. Not insta kill a uh, max ammo up in here. Can I shoot like what, my uh, death machine or no? No. Oh, I can't. Oh my God! Get away from me! This is really. Oh God, Moon Tricks, Moon Tricks, you troll, you troll, Moon Tricks! No, come back for me, Moon Tricks. <laughs> you freaking led a whole horde of zombies to me. Oh, 
that would have been a perfect time. Oh, Jesus. I mean, yeah, now it's freaking, it's good. Maybe, oh. There it is, there it is. Alright, so as you guys can see. Alright, so apparently you guys don't need the fact punch because it worked for him. So what you have to do is just get an ass to get crap, the zombies, I'm gonna die. Oh crap, oh crap, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, oh my god. Okay, well I'm down, I can still manage this. But uh, just wait until the laugh and now you can get the golden spork. Just let me uh, revive myself here and try not to die. Um, let's see, let's see. I'll see you guys uh, in a couple seconds after I freaking get myself back up and get my perks back. I just don't want to die right now, so I don't want to be more focused on here. So I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Uh, stay with me. Um, I will be getting my perks and getting the spork and showing you guys what it looks like and what it does. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, go on the roof after you've completed the last step. Come on the roof, I already kind of had an incident. But you're going to come over here next to the golden uh, spork. Uh, you're just going to hold X next to the thing. It comes up, a hand comes up and it's holding it. You're going to hold X and now it's in your possession. And this thing is one hit kill up to like past round 20. Uh, it, it doesn't look like anything from your view. But if you, uh, wait, actually, turn around, dude. Yep. Um, it, as you can see, TNT Jack Connor here. Look at me and stab. When he's stabbing, you see a golden spoon. Here, stab, please. I cannot stab. Hold on. I cannot stab. <laughs> You're incapable of stabbing. All right. So as you can see at this, oh crap! Last second, you see a uh, like a golden spoon come up, um, past him while he's stabbing. So you got the golden spoon. That's also the next step to the uh, Easter egg. I will be uh, continuing it. So stay with me, um, and I will show you the rest of the Easter egg. Sorry I'm not being so specific about stuff. I mean, it's my first time doing this. I'm not 100% sure on things. I mean, I know I am because these people have done it before, but I haven't. So it's kind of hard uh, you know, telling people about it. So stick with me, and I'll continue in just a second. One. All right. What's going on, guys? I'm back. Um, After you've completed the uh, last steps, you have to be on the plane three times. Um, You have to continue the, second, uh, the third round completely in order for it to w actually work. Um, as you can see, the numbers are all like spazzing out here. You have to wait. Um, basically, he has to punch in the number sequences. Um, he's doing it right now. Um, he has the codes that I forgot where he got them from. Um, where'd you get them from again? TNT? Oh, yeah, 101. Oh, one. uh, it's just 101. Alright. Someone get ready to revive me upstairs. 101386. Okay. So once you got that done, this is basically almost the last step. You got one more thing to do. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna revive him really quickly. We're almost done with this, guys. I actually. Oh God, the crawler's the, um, alive. I think, like actually standing. All right, go ahead. Alright, somebody needs to go in afterlife and just put the number four as the first number. I got no afterlife you left. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I got no afterlife. Okay. The first one. Yeah, the first number. Eight one is already all set. The four numbers for all of the youth. You can put it in the description as well. It's all right. zero one three eight six eight seven two and then four eight one. And then this will happen. So you want to know the truth? All right. So as soon as you hear that, um, everything goes black and white. You hear films or something going on. So listen, guys. I uh, won't uh, stop talking in a second. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales from the prison's history. Just follow me. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring. Let me increase the volume a little bit. You were as audacious as the one undertaken by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. <clears throat> Thought to be the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Arlington, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. All right, so Wait, guys, you kind of just you kind of just heard a little story. It's still going. It's because I'm picking up the audio clips because I know where they are. Alright, so basically you gotta go find the auto cliffs in order to hear them. I don't know where they are, um, just run around and just go find them. They look like headsets, apparently. Okay, there should be more. There we go. So by the way, guys, it is uh, Weasel that's causing basically all this, apparently. What is that no such plane was ever built. Instead, the group's plans for 
freedom soon descended into bitter argument and infighting. With the plan falling apart, anger and frustration would ultimately lead to a brutal altercation between the misguided Arlington and his former co conspirators Ammo's gone! Alright, I guess. Oh crap, Moontrix. Why did Moontrix die? How? <laughs> Moontrix patrol. Uh, I got him. Is it, is, we got the last audio clip? Uh, there's two more. Alright, two more audio clips, guys. Oh, I'm gonna revive Moontrix. Oh, you got him. Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuke, and Billy Hansen lured the unsuspecting Arlington to the roof where they intended to exact the bloody I think this one works. So it was here, beneath the dark and stormy winter skies, that the hapless Arlington met his grisly end, bleeding to death on the cold concrete roof. For their participation in the murder, the three collaborators were sent to death by electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19, 1934, the execution order was carried out. There it is. Alright, now somebody go to purgatory. Yep, someone just needs to go to purgatory and they have to just go up to the roof, board the plane, and everybody will immediately board the plane in afterlife mode. Alright, so if you guys, um. Alright, so as you guys kind of heard, one person goes in purgatory, um, and then goes on the plane. Once you they go on the plane, the plane is invisible. When you go on the purgatory mode, it is available for you. Um, I guess when one person goes into purg uh, purgatory, it uh, brings everybody else with them. And I don't think anybody even has purgatory. I don't think anybody even has purgatory. I think we should. Right, can I'll we kill a zombie? Oh. No, no. Can I do it, please? I want yeah, to go ahead. Because I haven't tried it yet. Alright, so guys, this is really uh, last step right here. Uh, Mr. Commander's gonna go into purgatory. The plane isn't there, but for him it is. So he's going to board it. Plane's already built. Boom. Do we, wait, do we still need fuel cans? No. Uh, there we go. Oh, all right. So, so he went in, uh, into purgatory. We all die, and we are already on the plane in purgatory mode. So this is a really, really, really cool achievement, guys. Um, also a really good Easter egg they included in uh, Mob of the Dead. So we're gonna see how everything plays out through here. We're gonna fly in as if we're uh, just going. There's really intense music going on too. So I like it. Oh, what's going on? We we go back to the bridge and we revive ourselves in the electric chairs. <coughs> And then we duke it out, and I whoop your asses. Uh, okay. So, find your body. Apparently, we're still in the electric chairs. Revive yourself. I'm out of the electric chair. And Weasel is, a. Uh, oh, God. Weasel, which was TNT Jack Connor, isn't even in the thing, because he is Weasel. Oh, and I, wait, who are you? Are you the... Oh, crap. I'm Weasel. I can kill you. Can I kill you? Are we? Oh, Mootrix is dead. Crap, crap. Do I, do I have to kill you, though? Yeah, well, you have to try. This is really freaking hard. Alright, so Weasel tries to kill you, or you try to kill Weasel. Oh, you won? Oh, you got a nuke. Oh, wait, oh no, you didn't die. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the other two are already down. Oh, I'm down. Uh -huh. Alright, so as you can see, the cycle was broken. Weasel, uh, Weasel has killed us. We got Pop Goes the Weasel as the achievement. That was really cool. Once that happens, the game automatically ends. Uh, life is over. Um, that was a really cool achievement, guys. Hope you liked it. Um, also, a really good tutorial. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. And also, keep up my also later videos, uh, doing some more how to's and stuff like that. So, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And also, I shout out to Jack Connor for other stuff. So see you guys in my later videos.